everybody and welcome back to our channel. We are the Southern Bells. I am Rebecca and my name is Wanda and today you may have noticed if you've been with our channel for a little while that we are in a little bit of a different place than usual. The setting around us is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We're going to be trying to do something a little bit different today. We are going to start including some lifestyle videos and things like that on our channel. So I'll let you give tell our wonderful audience some of the different kinds of things we're going to be trying today. Okay, well today we're going to be focusing on meal planning. Now I don't know about you, but I have been a wife and then a mother for 30 years. And meal planning is something that has been difficult for me. I've done it, I've done it different ways over the years, but then I would abandon it and then I would find right. myself being a teacher and having other responsibilities and obligations. It just got way too easy to go out and eat. And especially now with her working nights. Yes. It makes things, it has a, adds a whole other element of difficulty into putting for meals. Exactly, because I work from 5 to 8, which means I leave my house about 4 o'clock. And so it's pretty late usually when we eat mm -hmm. at night, which is not, I know it's not a good thing, it's not an ideal thing, but it's just the way that our family's working right now. Um, and we do have, when my son's home, he's, he's at college, but he does come home most weekends. Um, at least for Saturday and Sunday usually anyway. Um, we have four adults that, that we are feeding. Mm -hmm. So And Lindsay's a picky eater. <laughs> yeah. He he doesn't like much and Daddy doesn't like cheese and so we're kinda limited sometimes in types of like a lot of people might throw a casserole in the oven or something like that, but lots of casseroles involve cheese, so we have to plan something that they will also eat. Or we make a casserole that has half cheese and you know, the other half is right. not. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I, I was sitting around one day thinking, because I, I really knew how much money we were spending going out to eat all the time, and I also knew it wasn't the healthiest way mm -hmm. to eat and, and, and all either. So I decided to try something, and I just have a yellow legal pad, so this is nothing fancy, and you may have, done, you may have been doing this for your whole life, I don't know, <laughs> or, or you may have another meal plan that works for you, and I think that's great, but if you're just kind of lost and really don't know what where to start, this may be something that you could use. Um, but I just took a plain yellow legal pad and I started writing down all of the meals that I have cooked for my family, like buffalo chicken, teriyaki chicken, roast with gravy, Mississippi pot roast, hobo packets, hamburger soup, and so on and so forth. And um, I got in, Rebecca involved with this and I had her help me. Brainstormed. <laughs> yeah, help me help me figure out some mm -hmm. stuff. So really we came up, I don't know if you can see it very well, please disregard my scribbling, this is just how I think. <laughs> um, but all of these were meals that we liked, Some, at least one person enjoyed <laughs> in, the, in the house. And then I just kept adding to it. We've actually added quite a bit since then because mm -hmm. we've also added some things that we like from HelloFresh because if you didn't know, you can go on the HelloFresh website and you can get the recipes for their meals. For free. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to pay just for the recipes. <laughs> exactly. And I have recreated some of them mm -hmm. before too. Um, so once that was done, I went around and I t like, okay, so Mark, my husband's the oldest, so mm -hmm. I said, okay, everybody's going to pick one of these meals. Okay. So that'd be a total for us of four meals. And I said, we're going to start with the oldest, and you get to pick an extra meal. So you get two meals that week. And then I had a bonus meal of stuff that I could make from leftovers. You know, you can always mm -hmm. make an omelet out, out of leftovers and yeah. everything. So that gave us six meals to work with. And then on that seventh day, we usually had either leftovers or... Um, convenience type thing. Yeah, like cereal or something like that. Mini tacos or just, you know, because sometimes, um, especially like this is Sunday night, especially after we get home from church on Sunday night, um, we just kind of do our own thing. Mm -hmm. Like today I had I had some deli turkey that I rolled up with cheese in the middle and put it in the microwave and that's what I had. That's yeah. all I wanted. And I had some frozen mini, ta mini chicken tacos. So you, that's just kind of how we roll <laughs> around here. Um, but yeah, and then I would put, after everybody told me what they wanted for that week, I would put a little cross beside it. And from there, 
we would kind of, this is an old one over here, we would kind of write out the main dishes. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that I did is I took inventory of my freezer and my pantry to see what I already have. Because really one of the things I want to do with this is I want to save money. And another thing is I want to avoid waste because we were... We were wasting more food than I wanted to, and I felt the dog like didn't mind. <laughs> yeah, and um, we, we would push it. Food. You know that you know how things get pushed to the back of your refrigerator and you forget about them until you open it up and there's mold or something growing yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. um, so I was trying to avoid that as well. Mm -hmm. And so, like I said, I would write down the main dishes, and I wouldn't necessarily put them in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That comes later when right. I see what our week's going to be mm -hmm. like. Um, and then we, we would do the sides with it. And what am I leaving out? I think that's about everything. And then usually on Tuesday, I would, and it's because I have a Monday, a Monday routine, a Tuesday routine, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, and Friday. I do different things. Right. And on Tuesday, Tuesday I, I go in the mornings and I work at the church and then I also work with adult ed at night so when I would get home from the church I would take the um, the list of meals for that week and then I would go through my recipe books and I um, would make sure I check every one I, I would check every ingredient that that thing called for and make sure that if I didn't have it in the house I wrote it down on my grocery yes. list that's very important because I don't know how many times I would think I had something in the house and I would have a meal planned in my head then I would get ready to do it I'm out of soy sauce I'm out of this I'm out of that <laughs> my brother is kind of an amateur cook and sometimes he cooks things without telling us so he uses ingredients that we thought that we have and then does he cooks it and then all of a sudden we don't have it but he doesn't tell us so we don't know that it happened so, last night. Yeah, with, with blueberry, blueberry muffins. <laughs> <laughs> we got home and he um he had made blueberry muffins, which so. were delicious, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> we didn't know. And you know he'll he'll take the bull by the horns because I know one day I walked in and I forget what it was that we had said we were going to have, and he had it cooked. Like, oh, chicken fingers! Only I had planned it for the next night. But I got home from work one Thursday night and he already had it there. And I was like, hey, if you're going to do the work, then we'll eat it. <laughs> That's fine. And it was good. It's pretty good cook. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I will, I will make my grocery list from that. And then, of course, mm -hmm. and, and you'll notice these are just mainly dinners. It doesn't really include, I don't write down lunches and um breakfast because we're kind of a grab-and-go breakfast family mm -hmm. around here. And lunches because we're mm -hmm. all usually in different places at lunchtime. And I do try to keep um, um, like sandwich meat or mm -hmm. chicken salad or things like that for lunches. Right. Um, so again you can just kind of grab. We try to get that the night before we kind of try to go through and figure mm -hmm. out what we're, um, we're going to be taking. Right. Uh, and since I work at night, I'm usually not in a hurry in the mornings. You know, like a, when I was teaching um, elementary school, it was like a rush in the morning. So I would try to pack everything at night to have. But but now it's a little bit different. I have right. a little more time in the mornings mm -hmm. and everything for that. Okay. So then, like I said, on, uh, I'll get the ingredients on my list. And then on Fridays, and that's my, that's my day, that's my, my grocery day. I'll go, and I usually hit Aldi first because if you have an Aldi in your area, you know you cannot beat the prices, mm -hmm. and the stuff is good. It may not be familiar, but it's good. Right. Um, and I will get everything that I need that for that week. And really, the new rule in the house is if we don't have it, we wait till the next Friday mm -hmm. because I would find myself going to the grocery store multiple 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 times during the week because I had run out of this or I had run out of that. Spending more money than you have to along the way. Because usually what do you do every time you go in the grocery store? You pick up something that's maybe not on your list. Right. So you are. You're spending extra money. Um, so yeah. So that's kind of that's kind of what the routine has been for the past four weeks. About, about, about a month now. <laughs> I'm stuttering. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, like I said, my son is back at school tonight. He goes back on Sunday night. So I always hit him up first and I, I have him go down the list. And as I said, I put a little um, 
cross beside it and then once we have had that meal I circle it and that way we don't end up having the same meals over and over. over. Another thing that it helps with is planning week by week. We can make sure that like one week we're not having all chicken or all beef. We can make sure to mix it up a little bit. So that's kind of cool. And like uh, let's we'll, we'll kind of go ahead and get into what what was picked. Like my son picked a roast for this week. Uh, he loves roast with gravy and mashed potatoes. That's kind of, that's kind of eater he is. You know? <laughs> well, you know, roasts are kind of expensive. So what I would do is like for my meal, I might go ahead. If I'm going to have to buy that roast and spend that money, then I'm going to look in my freezer and see what we already have. And I'll make that my meal, which I don't care. That's fine with mm -hmm. me. And that way, it, it kind of helps balance the cost of the right. grocery store when you go. So you're not... You're not getting roast and salmon and sirloin, you know, all mm -hmm. that stuff. You, you kind of, like tomorrow, I think we're having spinach spaghetti. Me, meatless Monday. It's a wonderful recipe that she invented. Uh, let me tell you a story about this <laughs> recipe. I guess she came up with this recipe. But I was probably, what, eight or nine? Maybe younger than that. I was pretty little. And at the time, if you guys remember, when Mary Kate and Ashley were really big, um, you know, they were really popular, and I loved them. I watched all their movies all the time. And so she comes up with this new recipe, and she gets ready to serve it, and she says, Now, Rebecca, let me tell you something. This is Mary-Kate and Ashley's favorite <laughs> meal. And I bought it, and I still love spinach spaghetti to this day. <laughs> so that's her recipe of life. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was harsh. <laughs> it was. It's a good recipe of life. <laughs> but I didn't know how she was gonna feel about the spinach. You know, that's kind of a, a new thing that I was introducing her to, and I wanted it to be healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but anyway, <laughs> just trying to, you know, just trying to, to balance the cost as well. Right. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a typical planning session right. with you. And quick question, are we already starting over where we can pick anything on the list? Well, it has been a month. Yeah. Okay. I, that was kind of my um, rule. Yeah. And like I said, this is kind of new to us and, and it's being tweaked as we go along because one thing I want to do is I want to rewrite this list and maybe laminate it so that we can use dry erase markers and yeah, you know, have that's a little bit better system that's with a good it. idea. But um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with what Lindsay picked. Lindsay's my son. Um, sorry, I had this. Okay, so I believe, oh, okay, so he picked a, a Hello Fresh recipe that we had tried in the past. Mm -hmm. He picked barbecue pork meatloaf. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. And as I said, he is a mashed potato hot young man so he is a meat and potatoes guy he, very much so so I'm going to go ahead and put mashed potatoes down and green beans you want green beans yep. along with that I love vegetables okay so green beans and um, I'm not I don't have like a four course meal I usually I usually can juggle three things maybe a fourth thing in there right. if I'm cooking something um, so that's what we have, and I will make sure when I put this down that it's going to be, of course, on the day that he's home. <laughs> you know, that would make no sense to right. it some other time. So, so that's one day down that we have. Um, I already talked to my my husband, and, and as I said, our boys are meat and potatoes. We are the adventurous ones. Yeah. Give us Indian food or mm -hmm. Mediter oh, Mediterranean food. That's our that. favorite. Greek and, oh, it's so good. At uh, Disney World, there's this restaurant in the Morocco Pavilion. Um, I think it's the Tangerine Cafe or something like that. But that is our favorite meal at all of Disney World. They have like fresh uh, shawarmas with couscous and tabbouleh, if that's how you say it, and different things like that. So we're Mediterranean people. So with his meal, since we've already had um, mashed potatoes, with the I might not have told you what he what he chose. <laughs> My husband chose cube steak with gravy and onions. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so since we've already had mashed potatoes, I'm gonna be real adventurous and go towards rice. Um, and then we have some um, squash and zucchini in the freezer that we had from our garden this past mm -hmm. summer. So I always want to get a vegetable in there if at all possible because that's for New Year's. That's what I wanted to do is increase our fruits and vegetables. Right. 
So, okay. Now I may come back later and add to this, or I may take, or I may change. You know, just just depending. So what 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 mood strikes us? Okay. And you want it? Well, I'm gonna go, go ahead since I've already kind yeah, of yeah. picked yours. I also have um, some pork in the um, the freezer. Um, Boston, I call it Boston Behinds because I don't want to be rude. But <laughs> <laughs> um, but I've got that, and I'm either gonna cook that in the crock pot, or I'm or my husband's gonna smoke it, depending on what the weather decides to be that particular day in South right. Carolina. Um, you never know, guys. This week <laughs> we had Monday was 70. It was upper. It was in the upper 70s because I was watching some after schoolers at work, play, taking them outside to play on the playground. It was in the upper 70s on Monday. On Thursday, we had a tornado and flooding. If you watched one of our earlier videos, you heard us talk about that. Well, yesterday, it up and snowed. <laughs> Can you believe that? All in one week. So we really never know what the weather's going to do. It didn't stick around long, but it um, it snowed. Big, yeah. big, big flames, you know, so that was kind of exciting <laughs> yesterday. Sorry, our battery died, and we had to... Had to switch over, but I believe <laughs> I was getting ready to tell you that for for my meal I chose the barbecue uh, or to have barbecue, and um, I think with this barbecue we'll have a salad, and I love cucumber and she loves tomatoes and we mm -hmm. love the combination of just a plain salad with yeah, cucumbers with, and tomatoes. Cucumbers, tomatoes, and then put some like homemade ranch dressing over it. It's really good. And if you are not our southern friends, we have this mayonnaise called Duke's mayonnaise. And it's like, mm -hmm. if you're from the south, most people, if you're from the south, <laughs> you want your Duke's mayonnaise. I mean, it's like, we have had people who, um, some friends of ours had moved to Hawaii because he was in service. Her sister would actually ship her <laughs> Duke's mayonnaise. That's how good it is. Um, there is no other mayonnaise as far as we're concerned, <laughs> but it makes the best homemade ranch dressing. So anyway, that was a side sidebar there. <laughs> I don't know if Amazon has Duke's mayonnaise. You need to at least try it once. Or do you some? <laughs> I don't even like mayonnaise, and I use Duke's mayonnaise when I do use it. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so barbecue, salad, baked beans sounds like that would be a good yeah. a, a good side mm -hmm. to have with that. Okay. Alright, and the reason I chose the barbecue is because for my bonus meal down here, I'm going to make salsa pulled pork soup. Which uses the leftover pork from the barbecue. Because there will be leftover. Mm -hmm. In fact, there may be even more than that leftover, and we will plan on freezing that. Mm -hmm. So salsa pulled pork it's really good. I haven't had it yet. She used to make it when I lived in Atlanta, and I haven't had it, so I'm really excited to get a try it. Yeah. Okay, so now now it's tur it's her time to pick the meal because she hasn't picked hers yes, yet. I haven't picked yet, so I'm going to look here at the list. I'm kind of thinking of something healthier. I like to go the healthy route when possible. So let's see. There's Greek chicken pitas, which we haven't had in, in a while. Mm -hmm. So I love those. Um... What else is on here? Stuffed flounder. We haven't had that in a while. I really like stuffed flounder. There's sesame beef tacos. Which those would be those would be mm -hmm. good. Dijon salmon. I kind of think can I go with the stuffed flounder again? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with stuffed flounder. It's a really good recipe. It's stuffed with um, bread, 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 bread crumbs, green onions, and mushrooms. Okay, I think I want my meal to be. And that'll flounder. give us the fish because um, this is kind of heavy on the. That's heavy what on I was red thinking. Meat, so. That's what I was thinking. So stuffed flounder. And then, um, what do you want to go along with it? What goes good with stuff under? Of course, salad always goes well. Yeah. Right. And we'll have salad. We will have salad mix left over from mm -hmm. barbecue. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And then what else would you like? Maybe like some kind of bread. Maybe? Okay. Oh, there's breading in the yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's bread So 
We've got salad written down. What would go good with stuffed flounder? What do you guys think would go good with stuffed flounder? Like, you should let us know in the comments below. You know what? We can roast some bit. Remember those roasted carrots were so good? Oh, roasted carrots would go great with that. Um, and we also have that mixed broccoli, cauliflower, uh -huh. carrot mix as well. Yeah, we so could roast those, so either way. I like roasted carrots. I think roasted okay. carrots sounds best to me. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five meals. So who still needs to pick? I think it's Go ahead and pick the extra meal because oh, I think it's wow. mine, but I'm not sure. For my extra meal, I already think I know what I want. It's not necessarily going the healthy route, but chicken pie. I think chicken pie sounds really good. We don't have chicken on there. Exactly. Either, That's. So. I was thinking of a different meat. Okay. So we're going to pick chicken pie. And with chicken pie, you don't really need... A lot of extras because you've got the crust and you've got the, the veggies mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe just cut up some cucumbers and or have a fruit tomatoes. on the side or something like that. So okay, um, I'm just gonna put cucumbers and tomatoes because one thing we want to make sure is that we use up everything the produce we have because right. I was really bad about letting produce go bad before I I used it. And um, this way, going to the grocery store once a week, my produce is fairly fresh. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like with the stuffed flounders, flounder, I probably won't use all of the mushrooms in it. So I can take those mushrooms and throw them into an omelet. Mm -hmm. um, you know, or... Have them as a side. One yeah, saute them up. Mm -hmm. So, you know... It, it, I'm trying to think of these things as I plan this out, so knowing exactly um, what I can do with the leftovers so that they're not just sitting there yeah. getting yucky. And another thing we did before we started all this is we did have a major refrigerator overhaul. Uh -huh. um, I, I may have said that I went through the freezer and I have a list of everything that's in the freezer and as we use it, mark it off, as yeah. we put it in there, I add it. Um, our re refrigerator has designated shelves now. Uh -huh. It's very organized. What goes where? So mm -hmm. we know what we. That was the biggest thing. We didn't know what we had. So now right. we do. Did you talk about how you plan two weeks in advance? Okay. So this this meal that we plan are these meals that we plan today is this Sunday. Week. Yeah. Um, that's not for this coming week because remember I got my groceries on Friday so the groceries I got on Friday were for the meals that we would have um, in the up this week. week. So I actually won't get groceries for this until this Friday. This coming Friday. So this is for two weeks from now. So I, And I actually will write the date up here that that's going to be. Let's see. I think that's the last week in February, isn't it? Probably so. Okay, so this is so it's going to be February seventeenth is when this is going to start. To the twenty third, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth. So first we use that is twenty third. She can okay. do math better than me. Math is I not my math. jam. When I was <laughs> in school, I would stay up long nights just giving her a hard time because I hated math so much and I stressed out over it and but everything she made A's in there <laughs> so she never gave herself credit for it but okay so not only do we have this week planned out but we also have the next week planned out so now all I have to do is on Tuesday I'll come back I'll take this list and I'll make my grocery list to go on Friday mm -hmm. So that way we don't run out of food. We we always know what's coming, and we have not. We were trying to talk about this today. We have not eaten out. Uh huh. This is a big accomplishment for us. Yeah, it's like been. Well, we haven't eaten out like big time. You know, actually going to a restaurant in probably over a month now. Yeah. Now our son did take my husband and I out to eat one day. She was at work. Mm hmm. Um. But that's been it. Right. And there was one night we ordered tacos from a new like taco place. 
Um, and that's been a couple of weeks ago. But other than that, we haven't eaten out. So we're eating at home more. And I'm really enjoying, I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy the idea of just a family dinner around the table at home at the end of the day. Everybody can talk about their days, what's coming up in their lives, what's on their mind, different things like that. And I think it's really nice to spend that time with you guys. And we've always kind of had that family dinner table time, but sometimes it was just bringing Burger King home and eating. And right, eating. right. And I, I haven't talked about my grocery budget. As I said, we there are four adults, and um, my son, he's 21, with a very healthy appetite. That boy <laughs> likes to eat. <laughs> um, but I have, and I'm, I'm going to be tweaking this too, since this is a new thing. I'm allowing like $110 a week. Um, and that is what I, I usually, I think I came in like $2 over budget last Friday, mm -hmm. but I've got stuff, I, I don't really stockpile, stockpile, but um, I am acquiring some things that I will have on hand, right. um, so I, I do tend to use that whole whole set, $110, mm -hmm. even if it's something extra, but after I kind of get a little more stopped, I may try to tweak it down, maybe take $10 away, see if I can come in at $100, and then just experiment see how, a little. Yeah, see how far. And she always goes to Aldi first to see mm -hmm. what she can find. I didn't mean to hit you. To see what she can find at Aldi, and then um, fills in the blank with stuff from other grocery stores. So it's always a good idea to start with the cheapest grocery store. Um, mm -hmm. And we'll have to tell you what nerds we are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's about to tell, so I'm worried. <laughs> Last night, we, oh. went, we went on a scavenger hunt. We went to our local Ingle, and the rule was we're only going to buy things that are discontinued, like 50% off, or what was the other thing? Um, or that you could buy, like, buy one, get one free, buy 10 for $10, something like items that were on yeah, sale. Like things that. And, and, um, most grocery stores will put a reduced thing on like their meat and salads and stuff if you mm -hmm. know it's the end of the day or whatever and they're perfectly good. We got two of these ready made salads. Yours was what? Chicken curry? Uh, chicken chim chimichurri. Chicken chimichurri. Yeah that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, mine was like avocado ranch and I think they were normally like two ninety nine or three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. We got there and the lady was putting a sticker on. We got them for a dollar forty nine, and they mm -hmm. look. I mean, they're they're, they're still so taking it. I mean, we're gonna have to eat it in the next day or so. Right. But she's got her lunch tomorrow. Uh huh. And that's probably gonna be my lunch. Um, the chicken pot pies. Yeah, the the chicken pot pies were like ten for a dollar. Um, ten for ten dollars. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> ten, <laughs> ten for a dollar would be great. <laughs> um, so we went, and I know the employees probably were looking at us like, okay, these people are being <laughs> sketchy or something. But but we and I bet and my husband went too, and he liked uh -huh. it. You know, I bet we spent 45 minutes. Right, we just went down every mm -hmm. aisle looking for the orange sticker <laughs> that said, that said close out. <laughs> and we got some great deal, like a big bag of kale. Kale. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how much. She it makes was. a really good creamed kale. It is a hell of a We need to make sure to put that in our oh, yeah. thing. That might, oh, that might go with the stuffed flounder. So that would go really good with but the stuffed anyway. flounder. <laughs> um, so, and, and I learned that trick. I have been watching Frugal Fit Mom, and she does all these clearance grocery stores mm -hmm. and d goes and looks for the, the um, discounted stuff and everything. So that's kind of where I got the idea yeah. from. And it, we had so much fun. It was fun. fun. I didn't want to leave when it was time to go. <laughs> so yeah, we're kind of nerds. We, <laughs> we didn't take much to excite When you live in a small <laughs> town, you make your own fun. <laughs> right. But anyway, that's an over. I know it's a long overview and well, I guess it's more than an overview. But that's kind of how we're doing things, how we're rolling right now with our mini planning. That's right. And, you know, we we'll, may update you if you're interested in it. You know, you may not be interested in it, but we just wanted to share in case there's anybody out there that has a really tough time. One thing I found out is I don't mind cooking so much when I know what to cook. What to cook. <laughs> yeah, that, that was always my thing 
that made me not want to cook is because I was like, okay, I, what can I make that's different? I, I don't have any ideas, but, you know. So this has helped me with that. Definitely. And it gets the family involved, so they'll more it's likely to fun. eat it. I've been having so much fun with the meal planning, so, yeah, you know. But I guess that's everything. I hope this wasn't too long for you, and it is something a little bit new. Um, but we're going to be doing some more things like this, and we're going to be mm -hmm. sharing some recipes and different things, so it should be fun. That's right. So until next time, we hope you have a great week. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Bye-bye.